Hello everyone, so I am here in Polister, as you can see with the giant tree, and I am here how to show you how to gear up using yet another dungeon. This one just happens to be the Elite Dungeon of Water, so as you can see, I have very little gear. Uh, the f chest up here was very nice to me, so I have a little bit of nice gear, but in general I have no gear. And you don't need anything to do this, maybe a little bit of food, maybe a health potion. It says one person alone cannot complete these trials. Fortunately, we're not planning on beating all the trials. So to start the dungeon, hit the button, block disappears onto you, drop down. Now this first co corridor is completely filled with zombies, so run through it. You can just run through here, they won't bother you. The trick I'm going to show you here, the way you gear, is we're going to complete a little bit of the dungeon, and then there are several dungeon in chests that you can just freely loot, and it's you know, very far south, iron, potions, you know, anything you need basically. So just jump up around here, and we're going to complete this first parkour section. Um, since you don't have any buddies to open the door for you, you just run around here and open it yourself. If you do fall at any point during this, there's the water, just swim back up. And try again. It's pretty forgiving, might be a zombie or two. Other than that, that's about it. Jump across. Alright, this one can be a tricky jump, not really, it's one block. This one I typically don't jump, just sprint, sometimes I fall. Alright, I did not fall, I am not pulling out my grapple, I'm not a cheater, okay, alright. Seeing as I have just legitimately beaten the parkour, should I have friends, you can let them in by hitting that door, and they can walk through and skip that second part. So now comes the part where you actually loot. So down here in the loot, in the root room, not the loot room, um, there's a lot of these little alcoves in the wall, you know, here, 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 so on and so forth. And pretty much all of them have a chest in. So one of the safe ones is this one right here by the door. You can just hop up, open the chest, and yay! Iron sword, military gear, yay. All right, um, another safe one is that one right there. Happens to have a zombie, typically will not. You can access that by climbing up this route and going around, yay. Hello zombie. Alright, he fell. Just walk in here. Again. Loot the chest, yay. Smite swords, that's what dungeon ins are good for. Alright, now a co there are a lot more chests than I'm going to loot in here, and that reason is some of them are traps. And I can show you how to identify those traps. So one of those traps is this one here on the corner. Uh, the uh, they are a trapped chest, but they are not a regular trapped chest in that, as you see, it is the trap chest thing, and sometimes even the safe ones will be trap chests just because it's mine Z, but you can tell it is a different, number one, there's a dispenser hidden above it, and number two, if you hit it, it does not break. So let's see what it does. I'm pretty sure it's a zombie. I might run. It might be a... Oh, it's a pig. Look at that. Alright, Elite Dungeon of Pigmen right here. Yeah, so be careful with those, you know. Nice iron sword to dispatch the zombies. Alright, and there are two other safe chests. Let me dispose of these guys first and then I'll show you. The closest one's up on this wall. Uh, you climb up some roots to get there. This one is a bit of a dangerous one though to loot because while it is not trapped in itself, it does have a pigman spawner right above it. So, it is that one right there. Um, see if I can get a little closer to it. Oh, I guess not. Anyway, if you do choose to loot that one, here's how I'd recommend doing it. Drop a few items on the ground, um, run in, break the chest, pick up everything, run back out, then sort through. It's also actually quite a good place to farm flash grenades if that's something you would like to do, because pigments spawn on the ceiling, instantly die, and as long as you don't get a baby pigman flash grenade, just pile up there and the zombies run out here. This is another one. It's another safe one in here. Loot it. Yay, nice stuff. Ah, I might take that smite too. Anyway, chests. Military loot, good stuff. The final safe chest that I know of is up there. There is no legitimate way to get to it other than grappling. I guess grappling is legitimate. So you hook your grapple up there. I don't need to tell you how to grapple. Uh, apparently I do need to tell myself how to grapple. Let me try this again. And
then anyway when you get in there there's a chest so you can now just sit down here wait for a tip or two enjoy the dungeon chest yes here we are back here save chest more smite swords yeah you will get a lot of smite swords you can also get iron armor I've gotten full dura and iron pieces well, you can sometimes get chain you know nice stuff it's in polster it is quite handy when you can either now stay here and loot these chests around wait for them to respawn all the tips or the nice thing is as it is an elite dungeon when you're finished you can just log out and spell it right and you will be teleported out when you log back in right back to the top and you can head back on your way and I would like to send a shout out to Saints Evolved he's the one that sort of gave me a little guided tour around this area and I thank him for that and hopefully you too can now loot here and find this video helpful so thanks for watching